This episode was brought to you by the number 42. Welcome back everyone, my name is John Fillmore and welcome to another episode of the Pokemon Analyst. Now, last time we had finished our team, so let's take a look at that before we do anything else. Now, we have a Mega Gardevoir, we have the Weavile, uh, we have the Ferrothorn, we have the Garchomp, we have the Arcanine, and we have the Milotic. Now, Weavile has a normal gem. There's Gardevoirites, Leftovers, Assault Vest, Rocky Helmet, Citrus Berry. Uh, again, we're not quite sure about these uh, items. Well, of course about the Gardevoirite because we need a Mega. Um, but a lot of these things are still liable to change. And a lot of these moves as well are liable to change. Same with stats, right? Now, we've done all we can with, you know, analyzing a team, putting it together and all of that. What we need to do now is tested so this is where the real fun begins now uh, before I actually do anything else um, you'll notice that I actually changed uh, the ability on my Weavile uh, and I'll tell you why because Weavile um, has the ability pickpocket and I had a uh, pickpocket at first and I thought okay you know what first things first I can have fake outs uh, with normal gem right which gives my Gardevoir time to set up a uh, call mind and then the normal gem will activate, it will disappear, then can use the pickpocket ability at the same time in order to steal my opponent's item. However, that's not the case because uh, pickpocket only happens when your opponent hits you, right? Um, with a physical move. And the thing is, Weavile can't really take a lot of physical moves. I mean, look at its defenses. It's kind of scrawny. I mean, sure, you can have the reflect, but I'm going to put it... To to uh, pressure and then let's say mm, you know what we're, we'll still keep the uh, the normal gem um, if we can find something else great I don't actually want to switch it with something like a life orb because the life orb actually is um, a little too uh, it, it costs too much right now what do I mean with that well for anyone who doesn't know, a life orb, um, it increases your attack by uh, 1.3. Not only attack, but also special attack. Um, however, uh, you lose one tenth of your max HP every turn. The thing is, um, it doesn't have a lot of attack to begin with. Or a lot of uh, HP, sorry, a lot of HP to begin with. Right, so I don't want to give it a life orb. I mean, it could be handy, but mm, if I have to, I have to. But right now, we'll still keep it as a normal gem. And we will see what we can find, right? And the pressure is just to add a little more pressure. Yes, pun intended. Uh, to put a little more pressure on your uh, opponent, right? So, now that we have all that, we are finally, finally going to be starting battling. Now, we're going to be working with uh, doubles. So, I'm going to go to Battle Spot Doubles VGC 15, right? Now, this is my, uh, my team that I kind of made on my own. Uh, you've kind of seen it uh, in the background uh, when I always open Team Builder. Uh, and we might work with that one, but right now, uh, let's work with this one, shall we? So, look for a battle. And now the thing is, unfortunately, I can't actually um, play the music because, uh, you know, copyrights and all that stuff. See, I can hear the music fine, but the only problem is that... You know, if I actually do play, uh, you know, battle music, it might actually be copyright infringement, and I don't want to do that. So, oh, and watch this. Right? Huh? <laughs> Shit just got serious. All right. Now, what do I see? What do I see? Okay, so I see that there's this Landorus T. I hate Landorus T. Um, I also see this uh, Tyranitar here. That Tyranitar will work well with his Aegislash. But I think he's going to send out the Landorus T first, probably with this guy. And I don't like that. So I'm going to send out... Um, I'm going to send out the Milotic. And I'm going to send out the Weavile. Do I want to do the Weavile? Yeah, I'll do the Weavile. Um, or, well, what I could also do... Yeah, that's probably better. Okay, so I'm going to send out the Arcanine and the Gardevoir. Right? Why that? Well... His Intimidate is not going to do anything against your Gardevoir. And the Arcanine can lower both of their attacks, which is nice. Again, I'm assuming that these guys are going to be sent out first. Uh, but that's my assumption. I know, sorry, I'm taking a while. 
Um, let me see. What else? What else? What else? What else? I want to send out... Do I want to send out the Weavile? Uh, I'll send out the Garchomp, and I'll send out the Ferrothorn. I need to be careful for that Tyranitar. Okay, so we send out the Tyranitar. Okay, interesting. Still, the um, Intimidate will work very well on this Tyranitar. Uh, the Thunderous... He'll probably go for a Thunder Wave against my Gardevoir. I'm not going to send it out just yet. Um, actually, I'm going to switch this one with my Ferrothorn. Arcanine's pretty much done its job, and I don't want to have it face the wrath of a Tyranitar, so... What I could do... is Mega Evolve, and then hit with a Hyper Voice. I could also... Nah. Because I could also use a, a Helping Hand for my um, Arcanine, but I don't want to do that. You might actually, see? Look, the Rock Slide. I don't want it to do that. The Thunderbolts. Okay, so let's look. Okay, so this guy definitely has a choice scarf on it. Which is good, because now it doesn't have a, uh, a Mega Stone or something like that. So he knows he can't really kill me. Okay, sure, the Gardevoir is going to take a beating. But it should still survive. What I could also do, I could use a Gyro Ball against the Tyranitar. It's not really going to do much against the Thunderer, so I'm going to protect my Gardevoir at the moment. Uh, use a Gyro Ball on Tyranitar. Um, okay, he used Taunt. Interesting one. Aha! See? And there he goes. Alright, now I have a little bit more uh, room to play with uh, for my Thunderous, and I don't have such a physical threat breathing down my neck. So, let's see what else we have. Alright. Ah, see? Here comes the Landorus. I don't like... I don't like that this guy is actually here. Um... But I can't really do anything else. So I'm going to keep using the Gyro Ball. Um, against the Thunderous? I suppose. No, Landorus. Uh, and then I'm going to switch out uh, my Gardevoir with my Arcanine. Just to lower their attack. Yeah, okay. The Earthquake is going to do quite a lot. Um, but... Oh, paralysis. Oh, really? Ah, all right. All right. It's just how it is. It's just how it is. Roll with the punches. All right, so... He might actually switch out his Landorus right here. Um, he definitely might do that. He can't hit me with that, unless, of course, he has a hidden power ice, which he might. Um, I kind of want to leave a dent on that Landorus T. You know what? No, I'm gonna. He's probably. He might actually switch out, so I'm gonna. Um. I'm gonna use an outrage. Okay, so we killed him. Nice. Earthquake didn't do much. Taunt ended. Nice. Here comes the Gardevoir. Aha! You fell for my trap. Okay, so he's gonna definitely mega evolve right here. Right. Which means, well, he kind of has to. He's probably going to use another Earthquake, but I want to, well, I mean, what else can I do? I could supposedly switch out for this guy, but I'll let him run its course. He might not kill the Gardevoir in one shot. I hope it does, but it might not. So I'm going to, I'm going to leech seed this Gardevoir and, oh, crap, fine. Right, I have to. I have that, so I have to do an Outrage. Okay, so he protected. Okay, so now he's confused. Uh, he got the Earthquake off. Oh! Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh, really? Another Paralysis? Really? Alright. Well, thing is... He has another thing coming at him. Okay, okay, okay. Iron head on that guard for. Come on, don't be confused. Don't. Ah, oh, nuts. That's sometimes what you need to do. Oh, 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 nice. Is he still stuck in the earthquake? Well, he hasn't done anything else besides earthquake. But he's definitely. Uh, oh, right. Okay, he might actually have the choice. Uh, the choice banned, which is handy to know. So he's gonna protect now again. Which is my time 
to strike. So, yeah, okay, I'm gonna... Ah, uh, no, I need to protect. I need to protect. Because I know what he's gonna do. See, here goes another protect. Earthquake, don't kill it, don't kill it. Okay, ah, okay, killed it. Alright, now... He will kill me if I don't kill him first. <sighs> okay, so he'll try to do another protect, I think, but maybe not. If I can pull off another protect... Ah, uh, no. Here we go. Okay. Okay. I lost this one. And you're probably going to have that a lot. Good game. It's always uh, nice to leave, uh, you know, comments. Um, this guy just kind of left, and that's okay. Some people are into that, but it's always good to just compliment them if they've done uh, if they've done well, and even if they haven't, if they win, and even if you win, it's always good to kind of just leave a compliment and be like, you know what, sportsmanship, it's good, right? This isn't a competition. Well, it is, but it's a friendly competition. So, and like I said, Lander is T. It's hard for me, at least, to take out. It's a real. Uh, Offensive threat, but all right now. Let's go for another one So so hopefully you guys have a little bit more um, Insight on how to battle and how to be like, okay What am I missing right and of course you can't get that from one of two or three battles uh, You pretty much can need to do like 10 or 15 before you can finally decide. Okay This is what I'm missing All right, what am I missing? Okay, so I'm gonna go with my Um because I'm guessing he's going to send out the Landorus T again. He's probably always going to send out Landorus T uh, first. It's a very good, um, very good weed. Not always, like last time. Not always, but it can be very helpful. So I'm going to do that. Uh, bulky Suicune right here. I'm going to ooh two Steel types. So the chance. Right. Okay. Okay. Well, if I have to switch out, I will. Um. Okay. So you got. Let me see. I can take care of this guy, this guy. Uh, this guy, not so much, but uh, it will still hurt. So I'm going to add this guy in there. I have the guard for to take out this guy. Um, and I think I might need to... Do I do the Ferrothorn? Well, I'm scared from these two that they'll take it out. Um, I'll be able to take the other guys just fine, but the fire types is what I'm worried about. I'm going to... Um... I'm scared about the town flame. Do we do a, uh, a Weavile? Yeah, okay, let's do the Weavile. Okay, see? Again, Landorus T. Fell for trap. And don't care about that one. So now, he's probably going to be switching out, right? Which gives me time to actually set up, unless he has a Shadow Ball, which he might. Um... So, I'm going to do an Icy Wind, and I'm going to Mega Evolve and Protect. Well, I could also not Mega Evolve, but I'm going to do that just in case. I'm going to Protect, and aha, see? Look at that. Okay, look! Oh, <laughs> wow. Well, then again, it was a crit, so Psy Shock. Okay. So, we didn't go for that one. Oh, sweet Nelly. Okay. Okay, sweet Nelly. Okay. The Ferrothorn. I should have had the Arcanine for the Ferrothorn. But, alright. Okay, um, I'm gonna... Recover, recover, recover. Well, he is slower now, and this guy is certainly slower, so I'm going to use a recover. Um, and I am going to... Well, I could hit them, but this thing is not going to do jack diddly squat. You know, Hyper Voice is not going to do anything. Uh, and he's probably going to hit me with a, a gyro ball. And his guy... Well, mm, I'm not quite sure. So I'm going to switch out the Garchomp. All right, now you might be thinking, okay, what if he shoots a Moon Blast at you? Well, I'm hoping for the best that he doesn't. Okay, so he uses a Hyper Voice. Ah, uh, Gyro Ball. 
Let's see what he has. Okay, so that wasn't that great. That pretty much was my only way of taking it out. Um, and as you can see, this thing is incredibly powerful. I mean, I had it like right back up to here, and it went back down. So yeah. So hopefully, so yeah, he has the Jower Ball. Um, I'm going to use a Scald on oh, the Gardevoir. Yeah, okay. And I'm going to fake out the Gardevoir as well, uh, just so he loses his Mega. Alright. That Ferrothorn, well, very difficult to take care of, but oh, still no. Weech Seed, yep. See? The power of Weech Seed. Alright. Sorry, I'm whistling to the tune. Alright. Okay, so it doesn't do much. Okay, that actually does something. It has Thunder Wave. Well, that's interesting. Yeah, that Ferrothorn is almost impossible to take care of now. So, especially with a Gyro Ball, it's kind of dangerous, but I want to use another Recover. Um, yeah, I guess I have to use a an Ice Shard on that Gardevo. Oh, hi. Really? Really? See, look, now he has two Leech Seed. If you can set that up. Oh, dear. All right. That Heatron is quite uh, slow, so I should be able to take care of it. Yeah, I'm going to set up the Reflect. Heat Wave. Okay, so he was faster. Okay, yeah, he's so much faster than I am. Okay, so I took care of two of his Pokemon. Okay. Yeah. Icy Wind, protect. Now, I am not going to be able to take out the Ferrothorn. That's pretty much impossible at this point. Um, oh! Surprisingly... Alright. See, he went for the Gyro Ball. And again, he has a... Uh, he has a decrease in speed, so that's pretty much going to one-hit KO me. But, you know what? There's only one way to take him out. And that is... Hyper Voice. Oh, really? Oh, really? Oh, that still does quite a number of damage. Oh, he did a Thunder Wave. Oh, that's interesting. Oh. Hmm. Now he's going to take me out, isn't he? Oh, well. You know what? Oh, really? Ah, fine. All right, all right, all right. I'm not going to... I could hide and protect, but what's the point? So. And again, you're going to lose quite a lot. That's just how it is, right? The competitive world of Pokemon is quite, um, it's quite, well, competitive. Um, but again, you learn from your mistakes, and that's exactly what we're doing. We're making mistakes, in a way, and then learning from them, right? And that's why I like Pokemon Showdown so much, because you can literally change your team however you want, uh, with literally the click of a button, and then you can just head back in and start battling again, and see what works, see what doesn't. Now, you are going to lose a lot of the times, at least uh, at front, unless you have an incredibly good team. Uh, you are going to still lose quite a lot, and that's fine. Just don't get discouraged by that, right? I mean, I lost so many times before I actually uh, won something, so um, it gives you more, more of an opportunity to learn, right? You make mistakes, you see what's bad, and you work with it. Right? So, so that's, uh, it is uh, a bit difficult, but you can do it. I know you can. So, if I can do it, then you can do it. I mean, I even haven't really done it. Um, but, I mean, if I can do this, you know, if I can be speaking to you, then, you know, if I can do this, then you guys can, you know, certainly win a couple of Pokemon battles. So, but anyway, we will be continuing battling uh, next time. So, uh, until then, thank you all so much for watching. If you like it, then please like, subscribe, leave a comment, question, friendly critique down in the comment below, and I will get to it. 
other than that, um, I do actually have one thing uh, more to say. Um, in episode 4, I said that uh, next week, or this week actually, I would be uh, on vacation. Um, and I got the dates wrong. I know, I'm an idiot. As a mathematical person, why did I not check the date? Because technically it's not this week, it's next week when I have my vacation. So yeah, big um, facepalm uh, for that one. But the good thing about that is, at least I can uh, keep doing uh, Pokemon videos, right? So expect a couple more uh, this week, and then the week after that one, then we're actually going to be uh, on vacation. And hopefully I can still uh, do some battle stuff or some more team building things along the road. So, thank you all so much for watching. And uh, until next time, this is John Fillmore signing off and wishing everyone on the opposite side of the screen a very pleasant day. Goodbye! <laughs>